A very good evening to one and all present here. Technology is just a tool. In terms of getting the kids working together and motivating them, a teacher is the most important. These are the wise words of Bill Gates. I welcome each one of you and I thank you for joining today's workshop, Integrating Technology in Mathematics. My name is Kushbu, and I'm going to be your host for this evening. TD Educational and Charitable Trust is one of the leading providers of educational services and consultation from Bangalore, India. I thank our trustee, Mrs. Lata Mishra, for providing this platform to us and I would also like to introduce our managing trustee, who is the backbone of this project. Dr. Jeetangadurai is not only a distinguished educationist and director principal of presidency group of schools, but sir is also a seasoned administrator, a prolific writer, eloquent speaker, and a commendable teacher who was proudly awarded the prestigious national award for his contribution in the field of education by the former president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kanan. So it has also been selected as one of the best 50 effective principles of 2020 by an esteemed jury panel for his contribution in the same field. Of course, under Sir's guidance, presidency school ranks number three in Indranagar zone under the category of national curriculum and the list continues. We are very proud to be working under Sir's guidance and learn so much. I request Sir, kindly brief everyone about today's workshop. Over to you, Sir. Good evening, Prashant, Uma, Mohan Raj, and good evening, Vijaya, who is still working behind the scene, trying to accommodate participants who are registering at the 11th hour. Uh, well, uh, Kushbu has announced the topic, the, the use of technology in teaching of mathematics. Uh, throughout this month, the month of February was, uh, uh, we had a weekend webinars on the same topic, but for different subjects. We had use of technology in English, use of technology in science, and today we have use of technology in mathematics and next week we have the use of technology in social science. If you have observed closely, all these are closely connected with teachers who are teaching in schools. Because the very objective of the TD Educational Trust is to support and mentor teachers. And this platform is a platform of sharing and caring we not only invite eminent speakers to share their experiences, we also look forward to the participants to come forward and share. It so happened in the last uh, webinar, one of our participants came and shared certain technology that she used. In the same way, if any of you are willing to come forward and share, it would be most welcome and we would create a space for that uh, during the session. Use of technology in the teaching of mathematics. Integrational setting, how you integrate technology and the subject, that is the integrational setting, teaching and learning. Now, our speakers are, are here with uh, to share what are the kind of technology they use in teaching of mathematics. All of them are teachers of mathematics of long years of experience. We have a guest speaker from uh, Middle East, Mr. Prashant Kumar. He's a PGT mathematics from Regional College of Education, Bhuneshwar. He has been in the Reliance Group of Schools and then Velamal International School in Chennai. And then he has gone to, he, he is now in Middle East as a PGT uh, mathematics. He has a long years of experience and has come from the Regional College of Education. Uh, we have Mrs. Uma, who is uh, our own speaker. 
and she has been with us for a couple of uh, uh, seminars and she is the head of the um, uh, department of mathematics not only at presidency school bangalore but she was a head of the uh, mathematics uh, at jawahar vidyalay in chennai for nearly 17 to 18 years a very senior seasoned and uh, mathematics teacher who gives good results also uh, mohan raj is a young dynamic person uh, who has a, uh, has a background of a coming from a rural background but he has manifested himself and aligned with technology and he is now an expert in technology uh, and he is conducting a some workshop for our teachers also he is also an msc mathematics he handles high school mathematics we have a guest speaker today priyanka singh and uh, uh, we i have exclusively invited her because i was very impressed by the way she shared some of the technological input in her last session though she is a teacher of physics but uh, you know technology has no language or subject uh, it is how you use it and how you are able to uh, link it or engage the students on an online platform that matters so we will have her for a short while uh, during this session now they would be sharing the use of technology and of course uh, prashant has a, a different phase of uh, uh, talk where he would not be talking exclusively on the use of technology but how technology can be used to motivate the students that's a very interesting part that he has and uh, on my behalf being an educationist and uh, uh, looking at not technology as a stand alone i look at educational model educational psychology and technology and how to integrate that that's very important aspect when we are as a teacher using technology technology is not for technology sake but it is mean to see how we connect and especially at a time when the teacher is a remote teacher and the student is a remote learner how do you bridge the gap how do you engage them and how you use technology to bring that connect and to conceptual change that you want to make uh, which otherwise you are deprived of of not having a normal uh, class so i would as an education it would look forward uh, look at technology on a holistic approach uh, to technology it helps uh, with engagements it helps to engage the students on the other side connects with the families also because now the families are around and they are watching you what you are teaching and probably they would be able to supplement as many of our parents are educated and technically savvy and technically quite uh, expert so families are connected students are engaged and helping students to find their voices their voices when i say their voices i mean to say technology gives vent technology enables channelizes them to speak their mind to bring out innovation to to bring out creativity so in that way we can hear the voices of the children through technology not the literal voice but the way they use their mind and wings to technology to convey their thoughts so that's a great thing that's going to happen with technology and preparing the students for future now according to the national education policy you might have uh, come to know that coding has become a very integral part now and in fact from this next gen like many of the schools are now planning to see how coding can be introduced coding is a language which a instructional what the student wants to instruct he has to uh, convert that into a, a, a language for the computer so uh, in that context coding is going to be the future so bringing this into technology we are preparing the students to understand the changes in technology that is going to happen in future uh, i i personally believe that i think all of you would appreciate that when you take a 
using technology, that is suppose your technology is your camera and you take a photograph of yours, it is a still photograph. Once it is taken, the smile that you have given, the glitter in your eyes that you have shown, the, the, the posture that you have observed, it is catches for, for only once and that becomes a still photograph. But if you look at the mirror, you have so much of option to improve your image. You comb your hair, you polish your face, you look a little brighter, you try to adjust your posture, and in this way, you are flexible. You are flexible for improvement. A still photograph is not a flexible for improvement. It is once done, is done forever. But technology gives that flexibility of improving yourself. It is a mirror of knowledge. It could be a mirror of knowledge. It could be a mirror of bringing about the conceptual change in the child. And that's how I look at uh, the technology. And above all, it will inspire the students uh, to discover new talents. And uh, uh, in that respect, I think technology has not only come to stay, even if the schools reopen and normal school starts, the blended learning, the hybrid learning, the flipped learning, all using technology we will stay. And it will become an integral part of the teacher's trans classroom transaction. Why? Because for a year, the teachers, though we don't call them a frontline warriors, they are the backbone of education having at a very short term and very short time, they raised to the occasion and aligned with technology and kept the learning going. So a year of academic year is not wasted. That's the great thing that the teachers have done. Kudos to them. And as they step into the normal classes after this pandemic's time, hopefully we pray that the normal classes will start from the next session. The teachers will come with technology with the mindset of technology, with the expertise of technology. And, and obviously they will use it in the class. And in that way, technology will become an integral part of the curriculum, teaching and, and learning in future. So in that way, the topic, use of technology in mathematics, integrational of the settings, how we set, which I think our speakers will speak about, how we set and bring in technology to, to bring about the conceptual change in the subject, teaching and learning. And that is the topic. So uh, the most important thing that we all have to think about when we think of technology is, first of all, you have to create an environment. You cannot just bring in a technology and throw at the children. You have to bring the environment. What is that environment? You have to create a digital classroom, be it homeschooling or it is going to be schooling when the pandemic gets over. So you have to organize resources and assignments to, to serve as a central hub. So, so they must have access to uh, internet, they must have devices which should be very useful to them in handling. All these are required and uh, and the material that is required for them in terms of uh, the kits and apps which they should get familiarized. We must, we must get them familiarized, we must tutor them, they should know how to use it. Then only when you are using a technology, they will adapt it and they will get connected with that. So, in that way, Zoom, Google, Microsoft Team, these are our platform which will create that classroom. So a classroom, if you don't have proper speed of internet devices and you bring technology, you bring apps, you bring kits, I mean, halfway you will get hijacked. I will call it a technological hijack. It's not working. Okay, so that should not happen and create a student-centered 
and differentiated learning because i'm talking as an educationist keep, keeping the educational module in my mind and that is we must ensure that technology helps students personalize instructions the way a teacher used to be personalized in teaching technology should be also personalized ranjit singh who has got the global teacher award when he was interviewed he has what is that method that you use in teaching he is from a rural background rural school a, 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 a village school in maharashtra and he has about 22 23 students who particularly girl children whom he has transformed using technology and that to something which he has created of his own and in that sense what ranjit singh said was i used technology for personalizing the instructions so that the children get personally attached to that technology and they are and that is how and personalized instructions and there are many uh, uh, many webs and many uh, portals uh, i think some of them our speakers will say but some of them like uh, i have referred to is a mobi max Uh, then at Khan Academy, which is a, a very rich source of personalized instruction, where you know the pedagogy and technology, everything is configured in a manner that education has a reason to be delivered in, in the way that should be. And uh, increase in students' engagement that is very important. If students are not engaged. you go to the class use technology you use kahoot and you use this uh, uh, geo zebra and all that technology and uh, the students are not engaged they are watching they are listening okay or they are participating some of those are participatory but you must excite them you must stimulate them and they must be properly engaged 100% engagement of the students is important why because the students are on the other side you don't know what they are doing but with technology you can engage them because suppose you flipped your class you flip your class means the class that you are supposed to handle hand over to them to do explorative research and make a presentation in the form of a video that not only they are engaged they will connect with all other friends and make a collaboration and network to understand how we should create this concept in other words your task should be such that it would invite collaboration it will invite them to discuss with each other and it would invite them to bring in the resources in terms of technology by discussing with the friends and that is students engagement technology should enable students engagement that is very very important and before i go ahead before i go ahead it's like a break for me as well as to understand what you are have in your mind i would like to uh, uh, share a few slides and uh, uh, i will try to wind up in and uh, uh, and uh, as i said technology this is our topic now this is the question that i want to put to you now i have about uh, yes participants you are all you are all there i know anyone would like to see children what? effectively sir to reach children effectively since children are very good at technical side very we, good that is we have to raise our bar so that we can reach the children in a proper way yeah 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 as you said they are very talented in fact they are more uh, techno savvy than us there yes. are many things they can do which you cannot do including yes. you know what they call i came to know recently looping they will appear to be there sitting watching yes. live but yeah, they are not there so uh, at the same very... time if you are if you are any if you have any problem with the network they will teach us how to do that right. how to get rid of that right. problem that's the way the feedback has to be so this is a experiential uh, question or inputs that has come anyone else sir this is sir i want to say something yeah yeah sure yeah sir so one year has passed almost a year back this pandemic has come 
and now it is a situation that we have to go on with this because we still don't know st till how long it's going to uh, continue so in this an year has passed with a learning in the teachers part and the students part as well but if we know much about it with this webinar it will help us more so that's why the topic is more important to us yes. very good most welcome thank you i hope you will take away a few things okay next uh, anyone else good evening sir yes yeah, this is Aruna Thapa, and according to me, uh, this uh, 21st century need, this is the need of the 21st century, ki we need to sharpen our saw. So we need to learn that digital skills and all. We need to be perfect in that one. Okay. So uh, I, I'll just proceed. Thank you. So nice of you to give these inputs. Technology of itself doesn't enhance learning. It depends on how technology is designed and implemented and how teachers are supported to use it. This is the word I want to emphasize, how teachers are supported to use it. And our TD Educational Trust is one of the objective is to support the teachers and mentor them. And rightly said by one of the speakers, they have attending this to take away some of them. I hope we will be able to fulfill your needs how outcomes are measured, assessment is also how to, and how communities, communities means our parents, management, and all of us are together, make a community of thing. And I think this is the entire picture of what's happening. Uh, the school is there. Can anyone tell me anything further than that on the basis of this picture? The school is there. What else is there? On so top is the student. Parents yeah. and teacher, they are uh, taking the student up. Uh, it's enhancing. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, sir. Uh, yeah. Trying to emphasize on child-centric uh, module where uh, the child is uh, the focus and we are trying to develop and support learning and try to communicate and felicitate as a guide with the help of technology so that the child is able to understand and uh, develop these skills on his or her own. Very we are much. just trying to support the children. Okay. okay, thank you. So this is an image of a pandemic situation of a school where we have a teacher, we have a parent, we have a management, all are them collaboratively trying to hold up education because without this, because the building is empty, there is no classrooms going on and they are all holding them through technology and uh, the child is upholding knowledge and uh, able to get at least the continuity of knowledge. If not 100%, he would be uh, continued to learn. And when we use technology, you must be very careful in evaluating and selecting what is more appropriate, collating and curating, adapting. You also have to develop. You, uh, you will find one of our speakers will tell you how to develop and design and uh, using. And this is what I said in the beginning that educational modules should be in your mind. I don't want to go in detail on this and how to transform this educational module uh, using technology, which was ultimately shown by summer model, where he, he, he used the educational model that was on right side and substituted to take the uh, thinking, higher order of thinking from the lower order of thinking, that is substitution, then how technology helps in augmentation and how technology helps in modification to allow a significant task design. For example, if you have given a uh, a short, uh, creative short uh, story writing, how the child modifies that sh short story uh, using picture frames and uh, uh, def uh, other technological inputs. And then finally, how the child creates a video uh, or, a, or an animated picture of the story. So that's how the technology takes. And uh, as I said earlier, we need to have a classroom of technology uh, we should have, uh, these are the ones which I have already spoken, some of them. And uh, there are, these are the kind of uh, kits and other things that people are going to talk. And there is very important thing is how to use augmented reality and virtual reality. I think technology is also providing us this uh, opportunity of showing something as if it is real. They can hold the uh, uh, the globe, they can hold a triangle and they can also uh, 
uh, do all kinds of things using technology and uh, uh, <clears throat> virtual reality, reality, augmented. So these are all provided by the technology and also education through skype.com, which is available and various medias. I mean, you need to explore. I mean, uh, you need to explore to find out what are the things V video is a very interesting thing where you can share your video with other teachers and improve your video and edit your videos. And all these are interesting features. And uh, V video, and then uh, of course, uh, your teacher's training, which is a, a very important thing that we should have a continuous orientation in service program on how to elevate technology in the school from level one to level two to level three. A lot of research has to be done. Teachers who are attending other say, webinars should go back to the school and orient the teachers. In addition to that, certain webinars and portals are also available where you can have teacher development programs. These are some of them. And uh, uh, this is what, uh, uh, and ultimately, you know, you have to create, you have to teach the digital citizenship skills. Now that's the word that is coming now. Skills to navigate and negotiate the digital world. That's very important. And finally, as I said, technology also enhances the family engagement. Family can see all that the child is doing. And so you are getting someone to support you also in your effort. Uh, and it's opening new windows and what the work they create, they would like to share. And there are so many uh, platforms available in the website where they can share. One of them is the YouTube. And children, you know, have the desire whenever they want to do something unique, innovative or creativity, they would like to share. And we should create a platform for them to share and using technology. So all this and many more now, I would not go ahead much on. And uh, before I invite the speaker, I would like to have an opening remark from each speaker, uh, starting with um, Mrs. Umay N. Uh, what would you like to say as an opening remark? Good evening, sir. Yeah. Anyone who stops learning is old, whether they are 20 years or 80 years. Continuous learning is minimum requirement for success in any field. This Very is my good. opening note. Yeah. I think Uma is going to share that part. I will tell you more about it a little later. Uh, may I invite uh, uh, Mohan Raj? Good evening. Good evening, sir. Good evening to everyone. Uh, here, I can say that uh, life is a math equation. In order to gain the most, you have to know how to convert the negatives into positives. Very good. Yeah. Good. Yes, Prashant, come in. Yes, sir. Good evening, sir. I loved your speech, whatever you said. I felt that technology can enhance the learning process and make concept come alive through engaging an interactive media. Uh, now we start with Uma N. Now, as she said, Many of our teachers at the pandemic was so sudden that they did not know how to even use a keyboard. And uh, there were situations when teachers had to work very hard round the clock. I mean, there was a lot of orientation in small groups and sharing whatever one teacher knows, the teacher shares with others. All these were happening. And there are teachers who have risen from the grassroots level. They are experienced teacher with 30 to 40 years of experience, but coming to technology, they did not even know how to use a keyboard. And one such teacher was Uma N, who is now the head of the Department of Mathematics. And she will share how she adopted technology. Firstly, I should say thanks to Dr. G. Tangadurai, Managing Trustee, Ms. Lata Mishra, trustee of TD Educational and Charitable Trust for giving me the opportunity to share my thoughts about the use of technology in Max, teaching Max. Many of the teachers might be thinking that it is enough to be a 
master in their subject to excel in their career but covid has changed that now it has made the teachers to realize that they have to continuously learn and explore the field of technology to use them as a medium to teach the students since it is a virtual mode of teaching the teachers need to learn the tools in technology to replace the blackboard and chalk piece today i am going to share my experiences in learning how to teach online methods technology used in maths is today's topic this is most relevant to me actually when the lockdown period announces actually from march 17th march 17th from march 17th onwards we are not going to the school march 30th we have started our classes in between those days are very 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 important to me i am the person who whats has said i don't know how to use a keyboard and uh, email is a new word for me till uh, 2017 then after coming to presidency only i started learning everything this uh, technology oriented things a uh, subject something i know whereas this technology i learned from 2017 onwards and i am the person who is having the fear of using computer and laptop then <clears throat> they said uh, to, uh, that is march 17th onwards uh, we are going to start the classes only in online that word really give me a real shock to me so i was little bit worried actually then after that our principal sir and my friends and my students also encouraged me like anything in the beginning of the classes my laptop was audio and video has a problem so i couldn't able to use my laptop also after that i typed everything in the i prepared the ppt word document everything in the laptop then i transferred to phone through email then i present the presentation or taking the classes through teams in the beginning i did like that only then after that i heard the word of see my beginning of the ppt is just you have to see how it is this is how i typed actually just i wanted to show my beginning ppts and we the max teachers you know how difficult to type the max question paper and we are typing entire thing in the ppt it's very difficult for me so i was a little bit worried then after that i heard about my the app one note app in the one note app also i typed the questions in the word and i pasted i transferred the files into one note while doing that i saw the draw option in one note app then i touched the everything i did with the mobile only i touched the draw option when i'm touching the draw option i can able to write so immediately i thought important things i underlined that and in that place some small white space will be there so in that i explained the to the students so slight relief for me in that particular stage then after that i heard about the white board i downloaded the white board i downloaded the white board just i am showing you here can you able to see my white board yes 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 okay sir once again here so many things i did with my white board only just i am showing how i took the classes in the beginning yeah in the beginning see here white board i i am considering white board is a better replacement for the black board and the chalk piece so it gives really my relief to me after that i heard about the geogebra geogebra app through my friend mohan raj he taught me then use uh, i use the uh, geogebra for teaching the grade 12 area under the curve the graphs then grade 11 uh, inequalities everything i showed with the geogebra then 
because i am the head of the department i used to ask my friends the 678 uh, teachers how you are teaching the geometry is it easy for you then they taught me about the smart notebook the smart notebook i am showing that this is a very interesting journey and till you show that uh, i really appreciate you see one thing is that as a head of the maths department she did not have the ego and uh, knowing Correct. what her subject is strong but you know the collaboration asking from a fellow teacher primary teacher how they are teaching and trying to know and give inputs on that it's a, it's a, it's really that is something that we need to appreciate yeah now i think it's come now you can continue so the smart notebook in this i use the i asked my friends uh, how to take each and everything this is a, a, a compass how to use the compass how to use the scale then each and everything i learned it from my uh, friends only so uh, and another important thing is i will never hesitate to ask any doubts as sir said and i will not leave my friends until my doubt is cleared just like a curious student this is what i used to do and my students also they help me a lot if i have a say any problem in the class immediately they will say uh, uh, ma'am please close the video because uh, uh, when you are opening the video uh, some mb something they will say close this ma'am that ma'am they also help me a lot while coming to the assessment part in the assessment part first we did it with the ms forms everything i also did because i learned everything then i did with the ms form somebody said the ms form is only for the mc giving the questions in mcq form then i thought how to test the students with the subjective thing then my friend said duga app duga app i downloaded and i gave test in duga app two three test also i gave in the duga app then somebody said exam.net so i started giving the see this is a duga app i gave three test to the students and after that exam.net we use the exam.net that is really helpful for help for the teachers because we can type everything in the word document convert it into pdf and we can send it to the uh, exam exam.net it is easy for the teachers and the students also we can uh, test the subjective type questions that is how i did this is uh, and see this is my experiences i am sharing i am not going to teach anything actually i learned many things only this is my experiences thank so you very you much you are conveying a message that uh, teachers need to open up they have to collaborate they have to learn from others technology is not only for my, teaching it my is my closing also... notice yeah learning has no end Very so i am still learning so still i am young so i would encourage everybody to stay in the path of learning and stay young thank you good evening sir good evening everyone uh, it's indeed a great opportunity to share my experiences and uh, what are the uh, softwares what are the apps i'm i'm using uh, in my uh, regular classes whether it is online or offline and uh, and what are the softwares i'm going to use and i'll show all those uh, maybe some of some of the teachers you know all these apps how to use it i'm showing uh, how this useful in online classes uh, and how this uh, uh, softwares are very effective in uh, understanding the concepts very importantly the concepts understanding the concepts to the students so i'll share my screen just uh, uh, give me a second is my screen is visible uh, can anyone yes sir yes yes it's yeah thank you so first to introduce myself uh uh myself uh, i am mohan raj 
My qualification is MSc B8 and I'm working as a TGT Mathematics in Presidency School Kasturi Nagar under the guidance and under the guidance of uh, Thangadurai sir. So, and uh, if you have any queries, uh, this is my email ID. Now, what are the tools? Uh, so we are facing uh, uh, very uh, uh, bad situations, uh, all the teachers, uh, how can we use uh, effective? Eff how can you how can you use the effective online tools uh, for the students uh, to make them understand the concepts, everything? Or how can we assess the students? All the, uh, for all this, I have a solution. I am I'm, I'm going to explain some of the softwares uh, which I am using uh, in the in the classes. So the first, these are the apps. These are the softwares which I am using. These are the softwares which I am using uh, in the online classes. There are so many softwares uh, which I use, uh, but frequently, more frequently, I will use these apps. The first most uh, so the software is the first most website is Google Classroom. This is the most important uh, tool. So everyone can. It's a, a Google uh, created a wonderful website for all the teachers and students. You can say this is the top most uh, website. It is very useful for all teachers and students, Google Classroom. Every teacher, even uh, this is an open source uh, website, a free, free website. Every teacher can create uh, your account using your Gmail ID in, in this classroom. And you can add, you can take the email, you can give the, just very simple, how if you just go to Google Classroom here or type Google Classroom in the Google, it will take you to the home page here. Very simple. You can create the class. You can create here. Plus mark is there. You can create. It will ask whether to join our class, join the class, or create the class. Just you can create the class, and just a moment. Yes. So you can name the class and create, and you can give the. So I already created so many classes here. I already created the classes. So if I open this class here, it will show the code. Go to settings here. It will show the class code here. Display class code. You can copy this class code and you can give to the students so the students can join your class. So here, these are the students. See here, all the students are there. And these are the classworks I shared to the students. So see here, um, uh, not, I, I, didn't, I didn't use this classroom only uh, last year, that is during pandemic. I used to, I use this classroom from 2019. Even before pandemic situations also, I use Google Classroom to share my worksheets, to give assessments in the classroom. So this one, one of the advantage of this Google Classroom is you can, you can integrate this Google Classroom, or you can add this Google Classroom to some some of the very important, very main uh, web pages. I will show how can we add, how, which are the web pages which accept this Google Classroom. I will show all those in the next coming uh, slides. Yes. So this is the one of the main advantage of this Google Classroom. You can chat with the students, I can, or you can give the you can give the worksheets to the students. Okay, so that is about the Google Classroom. So the next one is GeoGebra. As you know, everyone, the GeoGebra is the open source soft open source website. It is available in the Microsoft Store, even in Google uh, Google Play Store also. It is available. You can download it to your mobile also. Okay, so just type GeoGebra in your Google app. It will take you to the web page. So geogebra.org, www.geogebra.org. This is the uh, website for GeoGebra. And what are the use of this? What are the uses of this GeoGebra? It we can show the visual contents on some of the very important related topics to the students, so the students can easily understand. In, without explaining, instead of explaining, instead of explaining the theory, theory concepts, theory, we can explain using visual concepts using GeoGebra. 
for example how to show how uh, the volume of a, a solid depends on the area and height we can say that volume of any solid is the product of the base into height so for example cylinder the product of the base is pi r square and the height is h so the product is pi r square h so how can we how can we show that using geogebra and see there is uh, in this geogebra there is a page called as 3d calculator open this 3d calculator it will show three dimensional uh, axis and here you can select any solid for example you can select the cylinder here you can select the cylinder so if you give us how much radius you want for example i need 3 3 3 radius 3 units of radius it will give a cylinder now using this cylinder we can show that how the volume depends on the height so if you increase decrease and increase the height the volume changes or if you if you increase the radius the volume changes so like that you can show that the you can show how the volume is depends on the area of the base and the height and also you can show the nets means how many faces are there for example if i take the cube here now we can draw the nets to this using this select this see here it will give the nets and we can visually we can show the nets of all this and if you close these nets there are six faces this is very useful in the lower classes like sub grade 7 grade 8 how many faces are there and how these faces form a cube like this so if you open the nets you'll get six faces all six faces are square and if you close this net you'll get a cube so this is how the geogebra is very useful uh, you you can use the linear equations for quadratic equations and if it is if you want to use any resources there are so many resources which are there in this geogebra just for example go to classroom resources here you can explore so many resources or you can search like it's google search engine in geogebra it's in you can search for example i need a uh, representation of irrational numbers on number line we get so many examples for this so visually you can you can use these resources to show to the to show to the students in the classroom this is root 1 root 2 if you, you can if you increase see here how to how to plot root 3 root 4 root 5 root 6 etc we can show using this geogebra just you search in the geogebra what what topic you want it will show n number of topics there are so many topics which are created and uh, and it is available for uh, everyone in this geogebra this is the very this is one of the uh, beautiful software which is which are available for mathematics teachers okay so the next software which i am using is desmos desmos is like geogebra but one of the uh, advantage of this desmos is we can add the google classroom to that desmos so if i open the desmos see here this is my this is my account in the desmos so you can as a teacher you can browse the activities in the desmos and here it will ask it will ask manage classes in this manage classes you can add your class 
here go to add new class and import from google classroom you can import your class from google classroom to this desmos and you can give the assignment you can assign the topic to the students so that the student can able to uh, go through that concepts and they will select the for example uh, if i want to give the linear systems systems of linear equations or solutions of systems of linear equations okay so if i open this so it will give see here these are the screens which are available and what is the solution for y is equal to x plus 2 all this and you can assign to the student using this you can select this psb it auto all, defaultly it is selected and you can assign you can assign this to the students already it is already assigned that is why it is showing it is already assigned so you can assign any topic using this desmos and students can able to open that and they will uh, it's like assignment or you can use this desmos for linear equations draw, plotting the linear equations you can go to graphing calculator here and you can use the you can go to graphing calculator or you can use scientific calculator you can use this uh, for linear for example if i want to show the nature of the linear equations nature, nature of the systems of linear equations for example x plus y is equal to 3 and uh, 2x plus 2y is equal to 5 we can show the why the system the why the linear equations are parallel when it will intersect or when it will coincide using this desmos software so this is what desmos software everyone can use this is also open soft open uh, free open so uh, or you can say free source which is available uh, in online the next very important software uh, everyone know knew this software uh, that is diksha uh, sorry software uh, web page or online resource it is diksha uh, this uh, online platform is created by the central government each and every teachers or all teachers all students can use this software there are so many courses available there are so many videos available in this diksha app uh, take even the textbooks are available uh, worksheets you can take the worksheets you can download the worksheets from diksha app and you can assign those worksheets to the students exemplar problems are available in this diksha app uh, online videos also available you can use this diksha now the next one is khan academy so khan academy it's a free online web page so here in this khan academy you can add your google classroom uh, class to this khan academy and you can assign the you can uh, you can assign the videos or you can uh send the videos directly from khan academy to the students go to uh, how how can we send the videos or any assignments to the uh, students go to courses here it will give n number of courses here if, which class which class course you want for example if i want class 9 in this class 9 it will show number system number systems polynomials coordinate geometry it is based on cbse quadrilaterals areas of parallelogram circle surface areas volumes statistics anything you can take the statistics and you can assign this you can give the give this you can add this to your class so this is how the khan academy helps you can send the quiz you can send the quiz to the students using Uh, from khan academy directly to the students using google classroom and khan academy if you add the if you add your class from the google classroom to the khan academy directly you can add the either you can give the unit test or you can send the quiz or you can send the videos directly to your students when you if you add your google classroom class to the khan academy so the next one is this is similar very similar not uh, that much uh, equal to khan academy but 
if you want a uh, a beautiful videos uh a uh, conceptually concept based videos of uh, if you want to show any videos uh, concept based videos to the students this app is very useful don't memorize a youtube video is available uh, youtube videos also available uh, uh, with this name don't memorize uh, you can search the courses here if you want math go to math and you can select the class okay knowing numbers everything so it will give so many videos here you can show the videos you can show the videos to anyone you can show the videos to anyone uh sorry to your students uh through your online platform now if you want to give if you want to play the quiz in your classroom or if you want to assign the quiz uh, in your online like uh, teams or uh, google meet or zoom and it, it's a very interesting software its name is kahoot so in this kahoot you can create your account in the kahoot and uh, one important thing is this kahoot is available uh, in as a free source as well as paid source you can upgrade for some uh, minimum uh, price if you want or you can use as a free so free online page this uh, this is available in mobile also here in this kahoot you can give you can assign the quiz for each student this quiz is very interesting it will not show the it will not first it will show the answers and it will show uh, the diagrammatically it will show the answers uh, with some diagrams and the student will uh, select the diagrams so here either you can create the quiz i created some eight quizzes here and you can assign the quiz to the students directly from here how to assign for example if i take polynomial here so you can assign this polynomial uh quiz to the students from here how go to take this polynomials quiz select play button if you want to give one on one one on one uh quiz to each student then select teach then it will show the code it will uh, you select the classic so this gives one one to one devices so select classic and it will show the pin so you can share this pin to the students so this pin the student will copy this pin and student will copy this pin and how students will enter to this quiz student has to type a website you have to ask, you have to give this website to the student kahoot.it so if the student go to this kahoot.it so https kahoot.it so it will ask the game pin here so the student will enter this game pin here and enter and it will ask name for example mr okay go it will ask uh, so you, you the student will enter to the main screen of the kahoot the quiz so here it will show for the teacher it will show who has entered to the quiz which student entered to the quiz so i entered with as a remote player here and it will show here and then you can start the quiz if you select this start button so the polynomials it will show and the student will also show get ready and it's loading the student will play the quiz now so this is how we can use the kahoot in the classroom online classes and you can assign to the assign the quiz even after the classes also so that you can engage the students uh, even after the classes so this is how we can use the kahoot and the next one is very important one zip grade uh i don't know whether how many of you know this software zip grade zip grade is an online assessment tool 
how can we use how, how to use this zipgrade you have to download a software from uh, play store zipgrade it is its name is zipgrade and this is the icon for zipgrade a tick mark uh, in the green background so zipgrade so here first what we have to do in this zipgrade so we have to give some uh, you know, it will ask how many number of questions you are going to give in this just a minute it is already here just one second go to the website first this is a paid version if you want you can use paid version or in the free version also you can use in the free version see without without with your free account you may grade up to 100 papers each month so each month you can scan 100 papers if you want paid version it is only dollar six point means around 600 rupees only for per year so that everyone can afford this 600 rupees per year and you can scan unlimited papers. Now, how to scan the unlimited papers here? How to scan the papers here? First, give some, how many, first select how many questions you are going to give. How many questions you are going to give. So for example, here answer sheets, it will show. So go to answer sheets here. So this is the 20 question form, 50 question form, 100 question. How many questions you are giving? So you can select, if you are giving 20 question form, you can select this 20 question form and you can download 20 question PDF. So it will download. So it will ask, it will, this is the one of the uh, answer sheet. It's like OMR sheet, how the competitive exams uh, uh, you will take like that. So you can give this OMR sheets and you can give 20 questions or you can display 20 questions on the screen and give this answer sheet, give some four options or five options. And you can select the options uh, online and directly you can scan. So within the, within the period, within the same period and within fraction of seconds, within the fraction of time, you can assess the students in the classroom. You don't need to correct using pen. Just scan it and direct immediately it will give the result. Like how the competitive exams will give the results in the same way. You can use this technology, that zipgrade.com, or you can use the Zipgrade app to, for the assessment in the classroom. So that is what zip grade. The last one, there are so many apps which I will use, but um, this is the last one I'm showing, smart notebook, very frequent, uh, most frequently using apps and which is very useful for all the maths teachers. Now, how to use this smart notebook? This smart notebook is very useful when you're doing constructions, mainly constructions. Now, you have to download the smart notebook with uh, using Google, uh, using, uh, yes. Just search smart notebook. Yes. This is the app you should go smart notebook basic download smarttech.com. Here you can download the smart notebook. You can go to download. You can go to download and you can download the smart notebook app. It, since I already downloaded, I'll show the software. Here, this is the smart notebook app. it is opening yes now, so since I'm using basic version, I'm not using paid version. Basic version is enough to uh, construct, use, to use for constructions. Now, how to construct? For example, I'm showing here how to draw a perpendicular bisector. 
for a line segment. So first I have to draw a line segment. So using the scale. So this is this or this is the tools measurement tools. Using measurement tools, you can take the scale and using pencil, or you can take the straight line, line segment. How much line segment you want? If I want ten centimeter, draw ten centimeter line segment, and for this i need to draw the perpendicular bisector using compass so this is the compass tool you can take the compass tool you can keep this compass on this one so i'll bring this you can keep the pointer of the compass here and you can extend this and we know that take more than half and construct the arcs above and below like this and you can keep this on the other side to change this direction just click on this button now so using the scale and you can change the degrees of the scale here now how see using this you can change the degree of the scale yes so it will show the rotation option here like this you can use the scale and to draw the line with that intersecting so this is how we can use the smart notebook you can use the you can use the use, use it for construction of circles also so just take this and you can draw a circle and you can show all constructions using this smart notebook it's a basic version everyone can use this so no need to pay for uh, all these tools so these are the apps which i am using in the classroom <clears throat> so thank you cool Mohan Raj, very really cool uh, your presentation. Uh, I was just wondering how the motor skills, hand and mind, motor skills can be used with technology. I am looking at the educational module and how technology is coming in as an intervention. But one thing, uh, participants, I think you should appreciate that it requires a lot of exploration. Uh, you have to explore and you have to discover and uh, you have to practice a lot. That is where teachers practice and teachers training is very important. Uh, in that respect, <clears throat> all of you will have to work hard in exploring and uh, finding all this. And there are many more, but what is best and uh, could be used to uh, you with your students, you know it because who students are and what they know is what you know. So in that respect, I think uh, you need to explore. Now, uh, I invite uh, Prashant, uh, Mr. Prashant Kumar. Mr. Prashant Kumar, as I said, is a PGT mathematics teacher in Indian school Al Gubra, which is in Oman, in Sultanate of Oman. And uh, uh, he has come to uh, give his thoughts uh, and then we will have a very short uh, session with Priyanka towards the end. Yes, Prashant. Uh, good evening, sir. Uh, respected Tangadurai, sir. Uh, Uma Ma'am, uh, Mohan Raj, sir. And all of my friends, thank you, everyone, uh, for allowing me to say a few words. Uh, people, think, people think that technology is just fun, engaging and game, but I feel it is more than that. When, when you put the concept in the digital and animated platform, students are able to understand mathematical concept and when they understand the concept, they perform better. It brings the concept to the life actually. Now, the problem here is the time. 
time to complete the syllabus. Uh, since I'm teaching grade 12, uh, we have only limited, say, not even six months to complete the portion. And we have vast syllabus, two books, two books, part one and part two, and calculus is immense. So many things are there. So biggest challenge is covering the portion, but still maths and technology should go hand in hand. See, if I'm saying challenging, then there are people like Ranji Singh Disale Sir was mentioning about him, uh, Indian village teacher who transformed the life of many students and won 2020 Global Teacher Award. You know, from village, he has done all these things. Uh, so, so much passionate about the teaching and other things. So technology will help you if you plan properly, how often you use it and how effectively you use it. That is very important. So I am giving you when I use technology and what context I use technology. Since uh, what Mohan Raj sir said, Uma ma'am said, all these things uh, I we also do here and the teachers are aware of all these things. We have all collaboration with, in my school, around 16 uh, teachers of maths are there, TGT as well as uh, PGT. So we collaboration, uh, we do together all, what are the things we can innovate. So we learned all these things. Although I'm not touching those part, I'm just telling when we can use that technology. So the first point, what I'll say is, uh, we use technology for introduction of some topic. Introduction of some topic. This, this is the school where uh, Prashant uh, teaches in Muscat. Hmm. Yes, yes, sir. This is actually our building. I just randomly taken that picture and I just put that uh, lights over this by the PPT. We can do that in by glowing effect. So I use the glowing. Say, I'll just put the random picture in this uh, of, of my school and uh, ask, say, 10th grader that uh, suppose I want to. Uh, introduce the topic of AP. I'll see that size of the light first is small, then in increase, that increase. That way I can introduce. Or I can introduce what is similar figure or what is a congruence figure, why we need congruency and all by seeing the showing the uh, window and other things. So to introduce the concept, it is very important. Technology help us because student is engaged in this. Then the second thing I use for for visual effect, visual effect, what exactly I do in visual effect? Say, this is just a morning, uh, sun, sun is going up and uh, this is a uh, bird is going. So I'll just show in the class. For 12th grade also I can show, say I want to show that how to find image of a point with respect to line or with respect to point, I can give visual effect. I can draw here plane, I can draw a plane, and then I can show the tip of the tree, how I can find in the lake image and all these things. So they will get the idea. We can easily do that one. So for visual effect also, technology helps immense, okay? Then for concept building, see, I'm showing you the train is moving and the train is going. So in that concept building, you can say, that what is the speed of train, uh, how much distance is traveled, what is the time, other thing. So that is very easy, very useful concept building also. We can use technology. Sometimes students are bored with our teaching because maths, sometimes they all are not that math genius and they will enjoy. Sometimes to overcome boredom also, we use technology. See, I'm using this, uh, uh, probability of Monday intersection Tuesday equal to probability of Monday into probability of Tuesday. Basically, uh, I am already given the concept of independence event. So I just want to check differently what I'll do. I'll ask which movie is coming in your mind by seeing this relation, which English movie is coming in your mind by seeing this relation. So some, some student will come to know it is nothing but independence day. So see, I am just giving independence uh, event and then how I'm relating. Say, for example, the second one, I am showing the composition of function, function inside the function, inside the function. Basically, I'll ask the other way around. I'll ask, what is, what is the movie name comes to your mind when you see this uh, inside dream, the other dream, and again, other dream. So student will be able to answer. It is nothing but inception. So like that, to overcome boredom also, this technology is very, very, very useful. Then 
uh, to making learning interesting, then also we use technology. Say I want to introduce relation and function in grade 11. Uh, students are very much afraid of chapter relation and function. So to get the idea, to make it interesting, we do different sites. Say, for example, this four picks one word is very good game. Many students, they play in mobile or other places, four picks one word. So I just give to start the chapter of relation, how we can relate all these four words. So we can do, it is nothing but Fibonacci sequence and other things. So for a relation chapter also, it's very useful. Then say, for example, function. Suppose I will go for function, different type of function. Uh, this you must have seen in your mobile, many uh, WhatsApp group in maths, they have posted this one. It gives all different types of um, different types of function. It may be identity function, parabolic function, cubic function, um, maybe that um, sine, sine function, expo exponential function, all the function. So in this way, you can build in your class. A student will love for killer visualization. This is very, very, very helpful. Say, for example, I'll ask in grade nine, what is the domain and range? Then either they'll mug up or they'll do algebraically. But if uh, Mohan Raj sir was mentioning about Desmos, if you use that tool for graph, you'll graph it and then show, see the domain is from minus three to three, but the range is going from zero to three. So by visual, see some graphic calculator will help us to find the domain and range, not algebraically, you can go for graphic tool also. Say for the second one, say X square minus nine. Again, it's a bit tedious for the student to understand things. You can take the help of graph, just see the graph, and then you can tell, see the domain is from minus infinity to minus three and three to infinity, but the range is from zero to infinity. So it will give you them the clear idea actually. So what are the things I'm using? Apart from this, uh, I'm using in the class, uh, mostly these are the you know, YouTube or the website. Um, first one is by Eddie Wu. He's very good mathematician from Australia. His videos are very popular. You can always try by Eddie Wu's videos. You will love to learn the concept. Suppose if I'll ask zero factorial is one, uh, many people they mug up and tell the student also mug up. Just check his video, you'll uh, love it. Khan Academy already Mohan Raj sir has mentioned, it's also very good. And then uh, Un Academy popular website, uh, competitor of Baiju, in that Namo sir's um, cross product. All these are free in the YouTube, you can always check. And then Desmos I was mentioning, in the graphic calculator is very good. Then uh, Root Math is again website, Again, other website, it's very, very good. So utilize all these things so that you will, your class will be interesting and uh, enjoyable. So it is very, very, very useful, all these points. Make it note. Thank you, hope, it enjoy, hope you like this presentation and you get some, uh, something out of it. Thank you. Ah, thank you, Prashant. I think uh, uh, Prashant had uh, uh, made it a little slightly different. Yeah. <laughs> by by creating a, uh, uh, images and how images can be transformed uh, into thinking skills. Uh, I think a focus should not be on the tools always. Uh, or focus should not be on the tools itself. Uh, but how the tools could uh, be a vehicle in transforming the students' thinking skills. Uh, that is also something that we need to uh, think of. Uh, Sir, one, one more, more thing. Uh, Nisha ma'am was asking about that uh, to write the mathematical. The best tool is Equatio. Try to use Equatio for writing anything mathematical. Equatio is the best tool. You can do use that in any of the question paper. In fact, uh, for making online question paper in uh, Microsoft Equation, a Microsoft uh, paper or anywhere else, Equatio is the best tool. Please do that. Thank you. So uh, we'll have a brief session from Priyanka. Priyanka has come from Rajasthan. She is uh, in the residential school. She's a PGP physics, but uh, she wants to show a few kits that she uses. 
Uh, unfortunately, you know, technology is always not a bliss. Uh, sometimes it can hijack. Uh, technology can also hijack. And it so happened that Priyanka was uh, trying to use a laptop if something crashed and she has an alternate way and she has come forward to share it using her mobile. So uh, that is where you have to make a technological adjustment at times. And you should always be prepared what would happen next. If I'm doing this, if it doesn't work, what should I do next? Alternate thinking, that's a very important aspect. Um, uh, when she comes, uh, she can enter. And uh, in the meantime, uh, let us uh, going through this the entire uh, presentation. I would like a few comments from the participants uh, as to what is the takeaway and uh, what is your expectations that you could uh, bring about in our next session? Because uh, this is not an end in terms of resources. Uh, what is your expectation? What else is there that you want to know or explore? May I invite uh, feedback from the participants? Kushbu, if some of them are posting on the chat box, you can uh, announce that. Definitely, sir. As of now, I don't see any feedback as such, but there are two questions which have been posted. So we could take that in the question answer round, sir. Yeah, we can. We can now till the Priyanka comes in. I don't yes, know. sir. Yeah. Sir, may I ask something? Yeah. Uh, sir, I'm Rachna Verma. Actually, uh, while preparing the question paper for exponent chapter, I faced lots of difficulty because when we are preparing it on the Word document, we have the options for uh, uh, square and op like for powers. But uh, for uh, when we are preparing in some other format, like in the uh, uh, PDF form or something which is given in the like school document, then I was really facing a problem because my laptop is little uh, older version, maybe it is 10 years older. So I was very, uh, was finding it very difficult how to uh, type the exponents. So if uh, like Prashant sir or Mohan Raj sir or anyone like they can guide me how to do that. Yeah, anybody can come forward. Uh, uh, Ma'am, actually that's what I was mentioning about Equatio. Yes. Equatio, what it does, it's uh, from PDF also, it can convert into the some codes and that code you can paste. Uh, it will convert again to Word. So that's what I was telling. Equatio is the best tool to confirm a PDF also. It will give you convert into latex code and mm -hmm. that latex code, if you put, it will convert into Word. Uh, Sir, so, uh, like... Uh... Is it my like my laptop? I told as it is ten years older, like it is 10, uh, 2010 yeah. models. So uh, will it be there for me? Yeah, Equatio is there, ma'am. It's on website. You can download. It will work, ma'am. Okay, okay, sir. Thank you so much. Yes. <clears throat> Any further questions or uh, what is there in the chat box? Uh, yes. Sir, sir, since it's a mass teacher, I can. I can tell that I can help you. Suppose anyone from 10, 11, 12 teacher need any question paper or any guidance regarding question paper making, I can always help them. I have so much resource. You can just mail me. I'll send you question paper, latest pattern, anything you want in uh, this. Yes, yeah. I, I can always. that uh, Prashant towards the end. Uh, yeah. uh, they can email us and we will forward that to you. Yeah. Yeah, it will go through a uh, TV educational trust. Uh, also, sir, meanwhile, uh, there are two more questions that have been posted in the chat box. One of them uh, wants to know if they ha if we have to register for using Khan Academy. So if Mohan Raj sir or Prashant sir. sir I, I also see another question that is, how do we type questions in ZipGrade app? Sir, Mohan, sir, can you? So here, no need to type questions in ZipGrade app. ZipGrade app is only to assess the answers. You can give the question paper uh, either in MS Word or in the PDF form, or uh, you can take the printout and you can give. 
there is no option for typing the questions in zipgrade app zipgrade app is only to take the omr sheet format you can download the omr pdf either you can uh, how much questions you are giving for example if you are giving 20 questions or 50 questions or 100 questions and there is a option called custom you can change the number of questions you can give 25 questions also so you can take either 20 questions or 50 questions and what you have to do take that pdf form and in the online way before assessing you have to mark the key answers in the zip grade which are the for example if you are taking uh, five options the option b you have to mark you have to mark and you have to uh, like how you are scanning the qr code like that you have to place the um, uh, omr sheet each student's omr sheet physical omr sheet that what you have to give the printout of the omr sheet to the students and uh, you can keep the omr sheet and how you are scanning the qr uh, using mobile how you are scanning the qr code like that you can it will show the four boxes in the four corners and if you uh, or, uh, if you align that corners in the zip grid immediately it will scan and it will give the result that is how you can use the zip grid as uh, some of the participants have raised question and there can be further clarification and doubt clarification or guidance as prashant has come forward to help and share his resources so did mohan raj is also there and uh, see one of the <clears throat> objective of this uh, td educational trust platform is to create a kind of a learning community uh, we will facilitate in terms of uh, if you have any questions to ask uh, we will connect it with the with the, with the teachers and uh, we will create a small, small micro level learning community that's also a part of our um, uh, a part of this platform so any questions or anything anything that you need further more elaboration on this uh, or you need some more uh, apps and kits which you want to explore or you have a doubt in um, and uh, in working out with those labs uh, so please do free to write to us because you are always writing to us. And we have a system of collecting, uh, uh, collecting all these questions. And then uh, we will also be uh, keeping a record of all that you put on the chat box. Suppose you put a question on the chat box, that also will be collected. And then we would try to have a doubt clarification session uh, on which they, on, during that period, we will not be having any speakers, but doubt clarification. So that is a kind of a approach that we want to do and facilitate and be assured we are always there to support and mentor any of you. Excuse me, sir. Good evening. Yes. Sorry for the interruption, sir. Sir, if you have a touchscreen uh, laptop, we can use uh, PPT to teach the children. Shall I show my screen? Yeah, yeah. Shall I? Yeah, yeah. yes, sir. This is Salai Sivasundari. Huh? Salai Sivasundari. Yeah, yeah. From Chennai. Yeah, I'm giving you the. So you can share now. Yes, sir. Thank you. Can you come? Can you come live on your camera also as well? Wait, sir, just a minute. Then we can uh, select Control P. Then we can start writing. We can do this. We can. Yeah, uh, we can. Even we can write e power x, tan x, whatever we uh, we want to write. We can write. Okay. Thank you, sir. And one more option is there to. Uh, give questions, sir, uh, nearpad, nearpad.com. In that, we can prepare questions or uh, quiz, quiz or someone, something else. Just, just a minute, sir. See, we, we can select a uh, art slide, go for activities. There, we can select quiz or Time to climb. We can engage the children by using this, sir. Thank you. Oh, that was great. It was nice to see a Yes, sir. Uh, I have uh, prepared some questions there. Hmm. See, I will show you that. 
it's uh, yes sir here it is there we can use live uh, participation also live participation for the students we can click that we will ask the children to take this code code is here they can copy this code and uh, paste it in students login then they can attend the question sir it will come like the start activity they can do the quiz sir immediately after completing after submitting the quiz they will get the score they can yeah, give their score sir yes i happen to see this one near for yeah yeah yes sir thank you sir thank you thank you very much for giving me this opportunity sir now uh, i would just uh, request uh, each participant just to give a concluding remark having seen the entire session start with mrs uh, uma n and kushbu uh, put all of us on the spotlight so that sure yeah uh, also sir ms priyanka has joined through her phone okay okay ah uh, priyanka have you are you ready i was saying very good evening sir kushbu ma'am and everyone uh i am really sorry i don't know but my laptop totally got hung up because of a program so i wouldn't be able to share the contents which i could but uh, um first of all i have learned a lot uh, till the session uh, yes so i have learned a lot i just wanted to share this little thing uh, regarding the question paper like ma'am said so if anyone can share their screen if anyone can share their screen Uh, and and uh, window start bar to the window start bar you can go to math input you can just type math input in the window start bar yes yes i'm um, can you go to that start yes and uh, you type math input search math input the first one your ma'am math input panel yes 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 ma'am click that okay along with this ma'am let it be open uh, you can you open any fresh word file sure ma'am okay now say we want to type some equations you can take some numbering 1 2 3 uh yes uh, so on the on this word file on this word file you yes. can take any numbering 1 2 3 anything like uh, the numbering section you can yeah, ma'am no no numbering from the task the okay you see the right alignment left alignment that thing over there uh oh, one second ma'am yes ma'am uh, over there numbering the numbering is. option mark and numbering out of that okay i think uh, the zoom bar is drag it to the you, drag you it you can to, bring it down ma'am you can bring it down you can drag uh, that down to the down or to the left yes yeah. now you will see numbering there 1 2 3 1 2 uh, yes yeah, ma'am you can any numbering hmm now say we want to uh, write this equation um x to the power 2 plus 1 equals to Seven. Say we want to type this equation here. Now, uh, here you can write on this math input bar. Math input bar. You can write x to the power two. X to the power two plus something. Say seven or anything is equals to one. now press enter or press insert so you see this that though in word file we have symbols and we have um, equations but sometimes to find those the suitable equation or the suitable symbol becomes difficult for us so this is a windows toolbar which will be very suitable and easy so like when you are making a question paper all you need to do is you can type Uh, on this bar and the equation will be presented there now this is a very simple equation you can type difficult equations also 
but yes i will also suggest like many of many of you have um, um iphones and you have uh, that uh, touch pads but if you do not have then you can buy a device like pen tablet i hope every everyone must have heard of the device pen tablet so um if you can buy a pen tablet comes for some 5 to 6 thousand so if you buy the device like abhi right now kush ma'am is doing the writing the equations uh, through mouse touch so it's like a pen and you write like on a slate that writing any equation you can write integration negative infinity to positive infinity x square dx equals to anything you write there and you don't need to search it in the symbol uh, or in the equation bar you can type equation right at the you know the question paper so this way uh, preparing your content will become very easy and i think uh, most of the details are told by uh, the other speakers i am i i don't have any other thing to share oh. for now oh thank you it's really nice to give a little inputs to us uh, at least sharing is important you know that's the sharing and it shows that um, how um, you care to show your concept to us uh, thank you so much priyanka thank you so much sir and really sorry uh, no problem uh, uh, getting back to our uh, thing a uh, concluding remark from uma i don't know uma can you come on the screen one second yeah. can you put it here yeah yeah yes sir yes sir uh, as uh, priyanka ma'am said i am using the graphical tab only with that only i am writing i am managing my show Yes. And yes, if played with that tablet on this uh, stylus pen, with the stylus pen, speaking will become very easy. Ah, uh, with the stylus pen only, no need to search anything. So I'm uh, like a blackboard and a chalk piece. I'm using the graphical tab with the uh, pen, uh, stylus pen. That is what I'm using. <laughs> I want to show, but I forgot actually. Uh, ma'am, if you want, I have it with me handy. I will okay. just. Ah, this, this is, is how the slate correct, looks correct, like, correct. and this is stylus pen. Uh, yes, ma'am. So if we write on the designated area, I, I think it it becomes very easy. As an English teacher, it was quite important for me to use it. So yes. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice sharing again. Thank you, sir. Yes, Uma, conclude. No, that that is what actually I learned many things from uh, this uh, workshop actually. this uh, webinar uh, my learning is continuing only that is what i am telling so yes. each and every day i am learning from the students from my friends and from you also many things i am learning so learning has no end to conclude uh, sir uh, before i conclude i'll just want to say for english uh, teacher if you have uh, window 365 in that uh, you can just speak and it will be typed in yes. words directly if it is there you can directly do that yeah. uh, so for my me concluding remark will be the technology market is flooded with new apps tech tools and gadget technology can have a truly positive impact on student learning but it should not replace teaching or uh, ignore research based best practices for maths instruction yeah thank you ah uh, that's nice nice of you to conclude and uh, priyanka you want to say a few lines what you have uh, sir i is uh, to was missing for most part of the webinar uh, <laughs> and i would see it on youtube uh, probably if it gets uploaded by today yes uh, my concluding remark would be from my experience what happened today so i found this one very nice software which i try to download not from direct, not directly from google but yahoo and a program at the back end uh, it uh, it ran over my ram and so i got virus in gift so <laughs> <laughs> when we download apps we need to check the authenticity also yeah yeah yes yeah. Uh, yeah. that would be it well uh, <clears throat> let me consolidate and conclude by saying that <clears throat> learning using technology means not only using the kids and apps uh, it is trying to know what your children know and what they want you have to be a pedagogical teacher even in a technological platform uh, and then <clears throat> it all involves the designing 
are inventing, uh, constructing, exploring, all these are required. And it's, as Uma said, it's a continuous learning, more than learning, exploring, because you have to discover. You, the, 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 the Google and uh, uh, the YouTube and all those platforms and so many portals and websites, uh, you have to find out. I mean, uh, and in that way, you know, uh, we have to transform the students as a better learner. So thank you all. And uh, uh, a last word from Kushbu, our host. Uh, as you said, sir, first of all, I would like to thank uh, TD Educational and Charitable Trust. The platform always provides us with something new. And as teachers, it's very important that we keep ourselves updated with the trends and aligned with the technology. So it was very easy for us to move a step forward towards achieving our goals. And thanks to all the speakers, the panel members, and the participants for staying with us throughout and being with us and learning something new today. Technology is something which is a tool and should not we should not be totally dependent on it. Of course, we can have a lot of uh, um, mishaps or as you say sir technological hijacks so let us all keep using technology in the right proportion and with that i would like to thank everyone once again thank you